said you didn't like coffee. Oh, right. I love it here. I like the atmosphere. And I don't hate coffee. It just makes me feel antsy and nervous. If you try it more, you might get used to it. Well, if I decide I want to try a triple venti non-fat caramel macchiato one day, I will. It'll just be up to me. Anyways, peer review time. I liked your speech. I had no idea gluten-free baking was so hard. Well, if I'm gonna inform my class of anything, it's gonna be how to make me cookies that don't suck. I almost wanted to talk about sexism in Hollywood, but it's such a big issue right now that I decided to save it for my final. Yours, though, would make a good final. Really? Thank you. Yeah. Like, I think I have a pretty okay understanding of the history of feminism in general, but I had no idea sex-positive movements dated so far back. <laughs> I know. It's something that's interested me for a long time. I'm excited to talk about it. It's great. My only suggestion is that at the end you say something like, this is something that affects all of us, even asexuals like me. How do you I'm think that- too irrelevant? No, I just don't understand how it affects you. If you've never felt that desire to express every part of yourself, even the parts you're constantly told are dirty and disgusting and wrong, I don't see how you can support it. I... I have biology in 10 minutes. Let's meet up tomorrow before class and practice our speeches. I'll show you I'm more than capable of talking about something like this. I have classes all morning leading up to public speaking. How about tonight? My place? All right. These are all of my sources from the second to last paragraph about modern sex positivity. I'm saving all of these. Sexplanation, Shan, Booty, Hannah Witten. I didn't even know sexual health was something vloggers talked about on YouTube. Probably because their videos get demonetized. I mean, I can't believe you managed to find, well, this is just a website of really well-produced porn, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's like probably the most extensive research ever done on female pleasure. There's tons of terminology, volunteers from all over the world, even thorough demonstrational videos. Do you use that? What? You know. Subscriptions are $40 a month. I'm a poor college student. I don't use it. Do you want to use it? Asexuals masturbate. There. Are you satisfied? Would you like to inquire next on my Pornhub preferences, high-tech sex toy collection, or impossibly tragic sexual history? The third one? Sarcasm. Have you ever had sex? That's all I want to know. It's just such a natural thing. I don't understand how someone couldn't feel that desire unless they What just... if I asked you an extremely personal question like that? I'd tell you I lost my virginity in the ninth grade, and I've lost track of the amount of partners since then, because I'm not ashamed of liking sex. You don't have to be. Who I am is not an attack on who you are. Sex just isn't a priority for me. I like learning about it because the more I understand it, the less it scares me. Because I know if I don't eventually figure it out, I'll always be known as this innocent virgin prude that no one will ever respect. I have to go. Good luck tomorrow. Whether or not we'd like to admit it, talk about it, or even think about it, sex is something that impacts all of our lives. Some of us find it recreational or empowering, while others find it sacred or uninteresting. It's something that affects all of us, even asexuals like me. No matter your attitude towards sex, we all want to have our actions, desires, and choices validated and respected. This has been the purpose of the sex positivity movement, to encourage safe and consensual sexual expression. Sexuality, or lack thereof, is nothing to be ashamed of. That's why you won't text me back. 
Leave me alone, Mike. It all makes sense now. You're not just not into Dick. You're not into anything. Or I'm not into you. But you must be into something. You just spent six minutes talking about it before you decided to change your mind. I don't think you've had good sex yet. Who said you could touch me? I could fix it, you know. Stop! I beat him up for you. I'm just kidding. I wish I did. I'm sorry, Grace. Look, growing up, I met a lot of people who didn't like sex, but those same people would condemn me to hell for liking it. Catholic school, am I right? So, I've spent a lot of time trying to convince myself that I wasn't dirty or broken. I shouldn't have tried convincing you to. I used to believe I was broken too. I've always been told there was something wrong with me. That I was missing out on a very normal, essential human experience. Something they write songs and novels about. Aaron, I've never had a tragic sexual history. But I'm scared being myself will lead to a tragic sexual future. You're scared of someone like Mike trying to save you. I'm sorry I made you feel like you needed to be. Thank you.